So the lead code problem we are going to solve today is called find leaves in a binary tree. And this one is a, actually a lead code premium problem. And that's why you see that the uh, UI looks slightly different. Now let's try to understand the problem statement. We are given a binary tree and we need to collect trees nodes as if we, we are doing the following where we are collecting and removing all the leaves inside the given tree and we are going to repeat this until the entire tree is empty now we all know that what does a leaf node in a tree looks like basically the node that does not have any children is referred as a leaf node so what we need to do is that for any given binary tree we are given the root of it we need to iterate over the entire tree find that what are all the leaves that it currently has collect all every single leaves in one order and then repeat the same process with all the remaining nodes. So in this case, we can see that at the beginning, these three are the leaf nodes. So we are going to mark these as the leaf nodes and we are going to collect them in the answer. So we will collect four, five and six as part of the first set of leaf nodes. Then we would get rid of these nodes. Then once again, uh, we would be left with another set of leaf node that is that are going to be nodes two and nodes three. So that they would come in in the second portion of like collect leaf nodes once we get rid of them uh, in the end we will only be left with the root node and that is going to be value number one and that is all what we need to return so this is the whole problem solution now you can imagine that solving this problem seems quite trivial all we are doing is that at every given instance we are basically iterating over the given tree and we are trying to find that what are the leaf nodes so we know that what is the condition of any particular node to define that it is a leaf node or not. Well, we can check that if for any particular node, if the left child is equal to null and if it's the right child is also equal to null and the node is currently not equal to null, which means the node exists. So in that case, we can define any particular node to be a leaf node. So we know that how to identify a leaf node. Second thing is we need to store every single leaf nodes that we collect, which means we will have to create an array list where we are going to store bunch of different array list for every single piece of lead code uh, leaf nodes that we found. Okay. That is second thing. Third thing is how are we going to iterate over the given input? And for that, there are actually a couple of ways, but in this case, recursion would be a very good approach to reach out and solve this problem because we know that in the recursion, we basically need to repeat the same process and same goes in this problem as well that first of all for this entire given uh, root node we will need to find the leaf nodes same thing happens when we do go to the left child and right child once again at the left child and right child level we need to find the leaf nodes so currently this one is a leaf node in itself so we will mark it to the answer at the right child level uh, sorry left child level once again we will still repeatedly try to find the same things once we find the all these three leaf nodes we will mark them in, into the answer remove them from the existing tree so declare that the, the current node is equal to null and then once again repeat the same process from the root so let's try to understand the uh, the solution i'm suggesting in action let's just give some arbitrary values to these particular nodes okay so in the recursion, we know we need two items. We need a base case. So base case is quite straightforward. The definition on how to define any particular leaf node that we just saw that if uh, the given left child is equal to null and the given right child is equal to null for any particular node, we can define that node to be null. That is uh, the first base case. Second base case is that if the node in itself is null, then we are simply going to return null in that case. We don't need to do anything. But we if we do identify at any particular moment that if left child and right child both are null, then we need to add that particular node to the answer array list that we have created for the current set of leaf nodes. Okay. And what would be our recursive case? So recurs uh, recursive function is going to be quite simple that if the node has some left child and it, if the node has some right child, then recall the same recursive method once again until we reach this base case and we would have added or every single value inside the answer. So let's try to see the solution in action. First, we are at this root node. Currently, root node does have left child and does have right child. So once again, we are going to do the recursive function. So if we apply the recursive function, we are going to reach over here. Once again, for left child, we once again find it does have left child and right child. For right child, it does not have any uh, any other values. 
So we end also for the these subsequent values of left child and right child we see that they don't have any children of their own which means all of these are identified as the leaf node so we are going to mark uh, values 4, 5 and 3 in the answer as first set of leaf nodes after declaring them we are going to eliminate them from the given input and now once again we are going to repeat the same process starting from the root node so currently for this root node it still has a left child once again for this leaf, uh, left child it does not have any child of its own so this is going to be another set of uh, leaf node and in the end we will also get rid of this one and finally we are at the root node so once again recursively we find out that root node does not have any children it meets the base case so we are going to add it to the answer as well and this is the answer we are going to return in the end so logically this is a very simple tree traversal program uh, problem but with every single traversal we just want to repeat the same process by eliminating few nodes and keep on doing it again and again till the entire tree is empty so this is the whole solution if we see time and space complexity in this case the time complexity is simply going to be big o of n where n is the total number of nodes present because we will have to do it for each one of them even for the space complexity in order to maintain the recursive stack it is going to be big o of n uh, and also we need to create an extra array list to store the answer and that is going to be completely dependent on the total number of nodes that are currently present so overall this is a very good question and a good amount of time and space complexity if you do encounter this in any of your interview don't get afraid or don't worry because this is like a simple approach on how you can traverse the tree and find the best solution that is asked uh, now let's quickly see the coding solution for this one so here is the coding solution for this one once again we are running it in an online compiler and not in the lead code because this is a premium question so here is the definition of our tree node uh, it's a, just a standard tree node now let's quickly look take a look at our class solution so first of all we are going to create a method that calls collect leaves method that provides in the root of the tree and in the answer we are going to return an array list con that contains list of values that where we have all the leaves connected based on the edge cases for every single iteration now first of all we are going to define the result where we are going to return as part of the array list and we are simply going to run a while loop that while the given root is not equal to null we are going to repeatedly do this where first we are going to create a simple array list to collect leaves in that particular iteration of that tree so this is going to provide us the leaves level by level then we are going to provide the results uh, by calling the remove roots method where in the remove roots uh, sorry remove leaves method we are taking in a tree node and we are also taking in the current set of leaves as an input and we, this is going to be our recursive helper method where first we are checking that if the given node is equal to null we can simply return null if that is not the case we check that if the given node is a leaf node if that is the case we are going to add it to our leaves uh, array list for now and then we are going to remove it and if that is not the case both for left and right child we are going to call the remove leaves method once again and in the end we are simply going to return the node so this is our helper method where we are recursively iterating over the any instance of the tree based on the given uh, node that we are provided and once we return that back to root we are simply going to add those results that we found in the, inside the leaves as part for the uh, in the result array list that we have created in the end we can simply return the results now i have also created a main method and just created like some dummy cases to see that where uh, what are what is the answer we find and we can see that the root node is one and then it has a left child two and the right child is three and once again for left child it has four as its left child and five as its right child and so on and so forth so if we try to run this code we should be receiving uh, the answer as expected and we can see that in the first iteration we remove four five six as leaf nodes then we remove two three as second set of leaf node and lastly the root node of one so this is the answer once again the solution is present in our github repository so feel free to go ahead and check it out from there thank you